In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to fix stuck on wrapping up session on GeForce Now. The message showing wrapping up your previous session on GeForce Now happens when you try to open and play the cloud game after you unsuccessfully close the session properly. In other words, it can occur if your internet suddenly disconnects when playing a game and you can't connect back. If you try to open the game up, the previous session is already running on the cloud server, so a new session cannot be established unless the previous one is closed. This can also happen if you are playing the game and you leave it unattended. Because you weren't active, GeForce Now might automatically close your gameplay, and if you try to reopen the game that you played before, the previous session might not have ended properly, resulting in the error code. Because you weren't active, GeForce Now might automatically close your gameplay. And if you reopen the game that you've tried to play before, the previous session might not have ended properly, resulting in this error code. So before I show you guys how to fix this issue, I am running a GeForce Now gift card giveaway and there are three simple steps. The first thing you need to do is subscribe to this channel and like this video and watch this video the whole way through. Then make sure to watch the video in the top right as well. Once you've watched this whole video, leave a comment down below saying that you watched the whole video and I will be choosing one random person from the comments by the end of August and message them personally to give them the gift card. The more videos you comment on, the better chances you have. Anyways, let's get back to the video. The first thing you can do is reinstall GeForce Now. To properly reinstall, you must first remove GeForce Now entirely. So open up the run window by hitting Windows key and R and then just type in appwiz.cpl then just scroll down and simply find NVIDIA GeForce Now, click uninstall slash change, click uninstall, and then just click close here. And what you're going to do is go to the GeForce Now download website right over here and you're just going to click download. And obviously once you have done that, just click on the exe file over here. And this process does take a while, but it should automatically open up. And once it does open up, just click agree and continue. You will get some prompts here. So click next, click got it, and then just click log in here. So once you have logged in, just click the game that you're trying to run. Another thing you can do is to try to log out of your account re-log in or even just make a new account. To log out and re-log in, it is very simple. All you need to do is just click on your account right over here and just click log out here. And it'll tell you that you have successfully logged out. So you're going to go back into GeForce now, click log in. And obviously you can either choose to use an existing account or create a new account. So if you want to create a new account, just use an email that you never used before. Or you can just click login with Google and then use one of those emails that you've never used before. So once you do sign in, whether that be a new account or an existing one, just try to run your game and see if that helps. Another thing you can do is to open up settings. So just click menu, click settings, and then you're just going to go under server location over here. And here, what you're going to do is to change whatever server you had to auto instead. So I've had my server set on US Northwest because it has one of the lowest wait times. You can watch the video in the top right to show you which servers are the best for low wait times. But what you're going to do is just click on the server and then just click auto on here. So whatever server you have, it doesn't matter which server it is. You have to change it to auto and then you're going to click menu games and then run the game. If you've already set your server to auto. So if I have it set to auto, what I can do is first test network. And you can see over here, my actual server, my auto server is CA East. So this is important because what we're going to do now is instead of setting it to auto, we're going to set it to our primary server. So I'm going to scroll down, click CA East, and then just go back into menu games and then run the game. You can also keep changing servers as well. So just try every single server and see if the error stops. If it is still stuck, then you can force the app to close itself. So you can either click the close button over here or open up task manager first. And then obviously I'm going to full screen here. And then all of these NVIDIA GeForce Now processes here, you're just going to click end task. And you're also going to close NVIDIA container over here as well. So now what you're going to do is just reopen GeForce Now. And just run the game. 
So this next method is kind of confusing, but I've seen that it's worked for the most people. So the first thing you're going to do is use a VPN and connect to any other location where GeForce is currently available. So you can connect to the US, UK, Netherlands, Sweden, anything you want, as long as it's supported. And what you're going to do is now open up GeForce now on your PC or whatever device you're using it on and try to open and play the game as usual. So now since your location has changed, you will get connected with a new session and play the game without any issue. And so what you're going to do once you have your VPN on is just play any game you want for a short period of time while the VPN is connected. Then what you're going to do is just close the GeForce Now app as usual. And so the reason we do this is because once you start a new session, it will terminate the old session automatically. So once you will be able to do that, you don't even have to play the game. You can just close the app after you've noticed that your session has begun and the previous one is done. Once the game has ended properly this time and the application is closed, you can disconnect the VPN. And then after you disconnect the VPN, try to open and play the game on GeForce Now and you will be taken to the gameplay this time without any wrap up session messages. Another fix, especially for Steam users, is to first start playing a free game that's not in your Steam library. And so doing this will force close the previous game that's stuck on the Nvidia server and then this will reset the entire service and you can quit that free game and return to the game that you wanted to play and start it again. The next thing you can do is change your game service provider on that specific game. So for example, if I wanted to play Rainbow Six Siege and I owned it on Steam, I can first switch the game provider that I did not have it on. So to check that right now, you can just click this arrow down here. And since I already have it on Steam, obviously it's selected. But what you're going to do is choose a game provider that you do not own the game on. So for me, I don't own it on Ubisoft Connect or Epic Games Store. So I can click either or. So I'll just click Epic Games and then I can just click play. And then once I've loaded in, just close it and then go back to Steam here since I own it on Steam and see if the game works and it should work. If all else fails, what you can do is just open up the browser version of GeForce Now. And so to do this, you're just going to search up play.geforcenow.com. And I do recommend everybody uses Google Chrome since it works the best. And what you're going to do is just click close. And I'm already signed in, but what you guys would have to do is sign in and just from here run the game that you want to run. And if it doesn't work from here either, you can also try switching your accounts on this as well and see if it works. The final thing to do is to contact NVIDIA support. They will provide further assistance to resolve this issue if you've tried all these steps. There will be a video in the top right that show you guys how to properly contact NVIDIA support. Anyways, I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.